for May 22nd, 2007. First thing I'd like to do is um, have appearances, please, starting on my right hand side. Jay Chapman. Peter Black. Peter Howell. Len Galino, Chair. David Johnson. Malcolm Weatherby. Bruce Smith, Code Enforcement. Thank you. Um, the last time we met was April 24th, 2007. My understanding is we're going to have minutes coming forward in the future on that, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So we're not going to stop to approve minutes this time. Um, last time around, we had a request for variance by uh, Charlene and David Andrews at 15 Grove Road, tax map U20, lot 6F, for a right side property line variance. And my understanding is that the applicants have submitted an addendum to their request, and they're here tonight to um, seek approval of their variance request as amended by the addendum packet that I think the panel has already. If the applicant could uh, approach the podium, identify yourself, explain to us your amendment, please. Could you just state your name for the record, please? My name is Andrews. Thank you. First one, picture of seven, is you. Oh, it's you 19. Seven foot sideline 
mindset of the matter. And what 6A, picture 12 of the 9 foot 11 inch sideline said that. In closing, my husband and I would like to again thank you for the effort you put forward for the last meeting to bring up the area. And we want to thank you for your time and consideration again tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Questions for the applicant? The, the property that you submitted the uh, new sideline setback was 101 Fowler, that's correct? Yes, sir. And again, if you would repeat which lot number that was. So it's 6A, which you reference as picture number 7? No, no, sir. Picture number 12 is the 101 Fowler. Okay. 101 Fowler is 6A that you identified as picture 12? Yes, sir. Okay. And previously you had the sideline set back? So your picture 12, which references lot 6A, which is on map U19, is that correct? Am I correct? No, U20. 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 It's picture 12 on that map. It's a little under the crease there. Can you see it? Way over on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. I see it. Just for the clarification, the 6A that you reference as U12, uh, picture 12, is on lot, on map, which map? You? Please. You're referencing this 6A here. And then what map is that? That's U19. Okay, and this 6A? Is U, U20. Okay. 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 Do we have... Uh, Thank you. Could you repeat for clarification for me and for the records? 101 Fowler, could you repeat? the map and lot number, please. 101 Fowler is on map U20, lot 6A. Okay, thank you. 101 Fowler is U20, lot 6A. The other 6A that is referenced on your is U19. Map U19, lot 6A, and it is our picture number 7. Understood. Do you have that street address too, please? Do you know that street address? Um, yes, sir. It is. Ninety four Fowler. Ninety four Fowler? Yes, sir. Okay. And I think this is the reason why I'm bringing this up specifically. I want this to be noted in the record uh, that 6A 
map U19, lot 6A, is 94 Fowler. The six and the lot that you have a revised setback is map U20, lot 6A, which is 101 Fowler. Yes. So the revision is taking place regarding that lot. Yes. Thank you. And for the applicant, as I understand it, just looking at your map, which is the one with the yellow and the um, green for your house, as I understand the properties that are more non-conforming than your proposed variance are the properties located in what is labeled as picture three, picture two, picture one, picture eight, picture 12, and picture seven. Concerning the sideline Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> In your picture presentation, again for the record, you're requesting a revision of picture 12 and you want to change the 14 foot setback. Yes, sir. Nine feet, 11 inches. How many feet? Nine feet. 11 inches. Yes, sir. Thank okay. you. And just for the record, the applicant submitted a modified uh, modification or amendment to the application included a letter dated April 26, 2007 from Sharon Mullen Campbell uh, and it indicates her address is 101 Fowler Road and it says I Sharon Mullen Campbell verify the sideline setback from our garage to our property line on the westerly sideline is 9 feet 11 inches. And so with this revision in place you have submitted 12 of the nearest property, six of which have a reduced sideline setback comparable to you. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you. Any other questions for the applicant? All set. Do you have any further comments? No? Okay. Is there anyone else? It doesn't look like there's anyone appearing here in opposition to the application. Um, anyone before I close the evidence have any further questions for the applicant? All set. Can we close the um, public presentation and open it up to discussion? Does anyone have, have any comments on the application before we take a vote on it? From Based on our discussion from the previous meeting, the, the one issue that was precluding, uh, the one objectionable issue uh, in, in the standards was regarding the comparable properties. And based on the, and I don't want to call it a revised setback, but a corrected setback as as stated and signed and submitted by the property owner as being valid. Uh, apparently at this time, six of the nearest 12 properties are comparable to her setback and the reduced setback of the sideline properties. So based on the definition in the ordinance, in my mind, she satisfies that, that standard that was not satisfied at the last meeting. Other than that, all other standards in my mind appeared to have been satisfied as we all discussed previously at the meeting. Further comments? Ready to take a vote? Okay. Um, first, with respect to findings, um, the proposed variance is not a substantial departure from the intent of the ordinance. All in favor? unanimously passes. A literal enforcement of the ordinance would cause a practical difficulty. All in favor of that finding? Uh, unanimous. The need for the variance is due to the unique circumstance of the property and not to the general conditions of the neighborhood. All in favor of that finding? Passes unanimously. 
Number four, the granting of the variance will not produce an undesirable change in the character of the neighborhood and will not unreasonably detrimentally affect the use of the market value of abutting properties. All in favor? Passes unanimous. Number five, the practical difficulty is not the result of action taken by the applicant or a prior owner. All in favor? Unanimous. Number six, no other feasible alternative to a variance is available to the petitioner. All in favor? Unanimous. Number seven, the granting of a variance will not unreasonably adversely affect the natural environment. All in favor? Unanimous. Number eight, the property is not located in whole or in part within shoreland areas as described in Title 38, Section 435. And all in favor? Unanimous. Could I have a motion to approve the variance? So moved. Second? Second. All in favor? The application uh, of the Andrews for variance of the strict application of the zoning ordinance requirement of section 961 um, seeking a variance of 14 feet from the required 25 feet to construct a 28 by 28 foot garage with storage above at 11 feet from the said property line is passed unanimously. Congratulations. You're welcome. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I have a request of the applicant, if I may. Sure. Uh, since this packet that she presented becomes a permanent record in her file for reference to this in the future, I would request that the applicant that on your, since your setbacks are, as you can tell by my questions earlier, it's a bit difficult coordinating setbacks with pictures, with lot numbers, and so on. Since your page of setbacks clearly references picture numbers, would you please resubmit the second page of your picture, which includes picture number 12, and I would request that you not change it, but that you indicate it as corrected. Okay. In other words, picture number 12, you have 1960 square feet, 14 foot sideline setback. If you would draw a line through that and underneath corrected and the date that you submitted the correction and put the street address so that this can be cross-referenced with the signature page. If you don't mind doing that, we would like that for our records for your file. In case in the future it ever comes into question, then, then you're, you, you have a, uh, uh, a reference to the actual numbers that have been corrected. Okay. Thank you. Um, I believe that's all with your application. Thank you very much. Do we have any new business today, Mr. Smith? No, sir. Okay. Any communications you want to tell us about? Other than that, that the pizza was good? No, sir. Uh, can I have a motion to adjourn? Second. Second. We're adjourned. Thank you. Snappy, snappy. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your.